Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the 15th through the 21st. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to do the Celtic Cross spread for this one. I'm just going to go back and forth and see what happens. This card just fell out. We have the Two of Swords. You guys are in the process of making a choice, making a decision. You may need to take that blindfold off and really open your eyes here. You may need to open your eyes. Um, you may be sitting on the fence about a decision that you need to make. Um, you may be avoiding something. You may be avoiding seeing the truth, so be careful. Maybe you're in denial or... Oh, goodness gracious... You definitely have to make some sort of decision here, a choice. And it's, a, and it's a stressful choice in regards to your wish fulfillment. In regards to, you know, what you believe in. The star. You may be torn between two different... Uh, options okay you know which one is going to make you happy I mean the challenge is is happiness the challenge is wish fulfillment here what's going to make you happy and you got to make a choice you can make a choice between you know two different paths what are you going to do wonderful so we're going to go back around too with these cards um you guys definitely need to make a painful stressful choice you need to open your eyes Make sure you're seeing a situation clearly. Um, ah, this is where you've been, though. So the tower. There's been a, somebody's been holding on to a false sense of security, right? Something that you know they may pretend that is stable. It may you know look like it's stable, but it's not. So. Yikes. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. You know, you definitely have to decide what's going to make you happy. That is the, currently, that's where you're at. It's like, you may be, you may have been overindulging. And <laughs> you definitely have a lot to offer now, don't you? Don't you, Taurus? You know you have a... You're like, look what I got. I have so much, you know? There may be a little bit e ego. There may be a little bit of ego at, ego at work here. I mean, be careful. Be careful. Don't let your, your ego get in the way of happiness, all right? You know? Happiness is <laughs> unbelievable. Don't let the ego get in the way of happiness. Then we have happiness. Sun is extreme happiness. That's what's coming. Happiness is coming. You have to make a decision, though, as to what is going to make you happy. You may be torn. You are probably going to be torn. Torn between two options, two choices. Wonderful. That's just great. A two cards fell. The Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Wands reversed. So change in direction, change of course. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose, right? It's a lucky break. Whatever has happened, this tower moment, whatever, you know, has come crashing down that has caused upheaval in your life, it was a blessing in disguise because it's bringing you something better, all right? So something good is coming. It is coming, but... You know, you need to, you probably need to do something because this is a card of free will and destiny, free will and faith. You have to spin the wheel, per se. So, you know, you've got to do something, and, and I see that you do. You need to make a choice. <laughs> and you may not want to make it right now. You may not want to take action. I think that you're probably like, nah, I'm not too comfortable with making this choice. I feel like you've had your expectations dashed a few times and probably you're you you may be losing faith. You may be starting you may be starting to believe that wish fulfillment is like never going to happen. 
right? It's never going to happen. But I'm here to tell you that it's coming. It's absolutely coming. It's in sight. So get prepared. Get prepared. It's coming. Your wish fulfillment, what you have been waiting for, it's coming. But again, the Wheel of Fortune is divine timing. But remember, you got you to gotta make some sort of move. I will focus this in and as soon as I get the rest of these cards laid out. Oh, the devil reversed up there. And the outcome and the empress on the bottom. Unfreaking believable. So, um, you know, I feel, I mean, this is you. You know your worth. You know your value. You know, you have a lot of life experience behind your back. It's like you have the world in your hands. You're beautiful. I mean, you got it going on. You're very attractive. Um, you know what time it is, right? It's like you're just waiting. You're just waiting. It's like you've made your wish, You and it's coming. Trust me, it is, okay? What you have wished for, it's coming. So if you are starting to give up hope, this is giving up hope, you know, I'm don't give up hope because it is coming. Yes, you've been through some sort of destruction or devastation or something has happened in your life that has caused uh, upheaval but I have to tell you don't lose hope because your your gentle compassionate nature and and the way that you carry yourself and the fact that you know your worth and you know your value you know the confidence that you portray is is being seen by others okay so I have to tell you that wish fulfillment and happiness is coming. And it's because you don't settle for less than you deserve. So don't give up. Something better is coming for you. But you have to make a choice as to, you know, it's, it's like that card in the angel romance deck. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. That's where you're at. What the hell do you want, Taurus? You have to decide, okay? And don't give up hope. Believe, manifest it, okay? You ha their happiness is coming, so don't give up. Um, you are destined for something better. That's why whatever this is didn't last, okay? You're destined for something better. There may not be a lot of action being taken right now. If something is maybe, there may not be a whole lot of movement because somebody is thinking, Knight of Pentacles reverse and the Tor and the Devil reverse. It's like yeah, there's a delay. There is a delay. It's like there's no, there's no movement. Okay, something isn't happening as quickly as you would like. Okay, so that's when you start to give up hope. Stop. Don't give up hope. Just because it's not moving forward right now, there's a reason. This is the reason. Okay, there's a reason for it. All in good time. All in divine timing. I have to tell you though, this card is in the in a great. This is the future position. Extreme happiness is coming. It is the devil reversed up here in the outcome. This is taking back control. You know, uh, release, breaking free, breaking free from um, toxic, unhealthy situations. So I think that you know your your life is about to get better. Don't give up hope. Let's get some clarifiers. We're not going to clarify the challenge card. The challenge card is giving up hope. Don't give up hope. Okay? Wish fulfillment is coming. It is. It's coming. It is. You may be receiving an offer for of... of of love or some sort of invitation from somebody who has been reluctant to, they haven't given it to you, they've been whatever, and now you have to choose, is this what you want in your future? You are. You, you may be receiving an offer of love or something from somebody that you didn't expect, and now you're like, mm, damn. <laughs> yeah, this is over. Something is over. Death with the tower. <laughs> this is in the past. Something has ended. Something very significant has ended. It's time to release. It's time to let that go. Don't look back. 
Stop looking back. If it's not meant to be, if it wasn't meant to be, it wasn't meant to be. It's better that you got out before it got worse. So I think that you guys have ended a situation that was probably very unstable and insecure. And it was just, a, it really, really, really was a false sense of security. But now that you have completely released it and you've completely made that cut, completely, it's in the past, you got a new beginning coming. Endings bring new beginnings. You do have a new beginning. It's a major one. So this major, you know, completion that you've had is going to bring you a major new beginning that is going to lead to a lot of happiness. Don't give up. Three of Swords. Oh, painful. Pain. Suffering. Grieving. Don't try to bury your feelings, okay? You can't just, you got to accept them. Accept that pain that you have felt. Don't, don't, don't overindulge to, you know, self-medicate. I feel like you may be trying to self-medicate. Oh, the emperor reversed. Oh my God. Up there in the present. The Emperor is an Aries. This could be, you know, the Emperor represents a father or um, a husband or somebody that is very dominant in your life. Right next to that heartache. Oh, my God. So this is, this is a... And this is taking back control. So maybe things have been a little out of control right now. Things are a little out of control. Maybe you're experiencing some pain or some heartache over another person in your life. There could be some anger and you may be trying to self-medicate. Just, just be careful. Don't, don't be careful. You don't want to gain, you could gain weight, you know, you could, you know, <laughs> get yourself into a bit of trouble by overindulging. So just, just, uh, be careful. I feel like there's some pain that you may be dealing with. Maybe it's from this loss. Maybe it's from this death, whatever it is, you know, and, and now you, you know, maybe trying to bury your feelings in something that is unhealthy so I think that you know presently you you may be feeling some 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 sort of pain you may be angry over this release I mean I gotta be honest with you and but I have to tell you that this is whatever this is it's gonna bring you some sort of happiness try to try your best to um, go with the flow to uh, let things happen try not to control situations okay I'm going to get another card. Oh my God, Ten of Swords. You know, that's like a... You see, it's like a... The worst is over. The worst is over. It's time, you know, this is, this is liberation. I think that you guys are about to... You may not be happy, okay, you, honestly. You may not be happy, even though we have that Nine of Cups. You may not be happy over this painful separation that you have endured, that you have uh, encountered, but it's going to lead to wish fulfillment. And I know that's hard to understand, but the, this, whatever this situation is, it's out of your control, and don't lose hope. I think presently you may be getting, you may get a lot of attention. You may get a, little, a lot of attention and you may try to bury your, your pain in, in some sort of addiction per se and it could get you in trouble. So just be careful if you tend to overeat when you're sad or you're angry or you're upset or you tend to get drunk or who knows what. Be careful, be careful because it could cause more harm than good. Anyway, I don't know where that's coming from. Anyway... The worst is over, and don't, I'm just here to tell you, don't lose hope. I see freedom. I see liberation. I see you uh, finding wish fulfillment after a painful separation, okay? What the hell? Oh, my God. This is the, this is, this is the future. Extreme happiness with, with <laughs> the perfect match. 
I mean, come on now. So yeah, whatever has ended had to end so that you could come together with the right one, your match. This is brought to you from above. You got somebody coming into your life that is absolutely wonderful for you. I mean, look at the happiness. It's bliss. This is the future. It's wonderful. It's 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 beautiful. But again, we have a choice here. This is a card of choice. So you may have to make a choice. I mean, you do have to make a choice. This very first card is choice. You have to make a choice. You know, do you want it or not? Do you want this happiness? Do you want this partnership? Somebody's coming in with an offer of love. There's absolutely no doubt about it. There is. I think it's welcome, and I think that it's, you're probably going to be a little bit surprised by it. Um... It could be somebody you've known before with that Six of Cups. It could be somebody from your past. It could be somebody that you knew when you were a child. Somebody that lived in the, on the same street as you. You know, or the same, uh, in the same town or the same village or something like that. It could just be somebody that, from your hometown. It could be somebody that you've known before in another lifetime even. You may not be able to refrain yourself from this person. <laughs> I see a lot of, uh, it's almost like desire, which is, I don't know why I see desire, but that's what I see. I mean, that's what I felt was desire here. Um, I feel like somebody is going to find the courage and the confidence and the strength to approach you. This is desire as well. And I think that they haven't been able to they have it. They have desire. They have attraction. They see. They feel an attraction, but they haven't been able to. But they're gonna find the courage to approach you. They've been delaying the approach, but somebody is gonna come forward. And I think that let me go back down here for a second. Somebody's been afraid. They've been afraid to take a risk. They've been afraid to um, take that leap. But it looks to me like we have somebody that is going to face their fears. Somebody is going to face their fears after not taking action and, and come with something. Come with something. Maybe they're going to bring you some flowers or who knows what. I feel like somebody is going to approach you with an offering, Taurus. And you're going to be pretty surprised by it. I think that you are going to be surprised by it. Um, you are. You're going to be conflicted. Um, uh, you may be you may be afraid of of getting trapped. You may you may be afraid that this person d isn't offering you anything solid. You may be afraid that this is not real. You know you may feel like you know this is this for you to step out of your comfort zone and to allow this person into your life is that a wise decision? I feel like you probably somebody is is coming out of hiding or somebody is going to be heading in your direction. I think somebody's been watching you. They've been you know waiting for the moment to come forward, and I feel like somebody is 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 about to. I think that they are about to. They've definitely been delayed. They've been planning. And it's probably going to cause you to feel a little stuck, you know, to whether, you, and that's why we have this challenge here, this choice, do you want it or not? I really feel like this week you are going to be presented with an opportunity to probably get in a partnership with somebody. And, you know, it's going to make you feel really good and it's going to make you feel attractive and you're going to look attractive anyway, but you're going to feel attractive and you're going to feel the connection. There's going to be a strong connection and now you have to decide whether you want it or not. Do you, is this what you want? Do you want it? Do you want this? Do you want a commitment? Do you want a, Do you want this partnership? Do you want the, to let this love into your life? I mean, do you? I think this is something that you have been wishing for. And I think this comes after something very painful. There's pain that comes first, okay? if you, Maybe you've already released it. You know, I don't know. But I do see pain that comes first out of suffering brings happiness and I know that a lot of people you know that's hard to fathom but that's the truth I feel like we have a definite soulmate connection here that is coming about 
um, with somebody that you probably did not expect, okay? I think this person is not your usual type, but you will feel the connection. You will feel the intensity. It feels very intense to me. You'll feel the, like you've, know, like where I know you, you know what I mean? Or you're it, you know, I think that you're going to feel that way. And I think this is an opportunity to take back control of your life. Um, absolutely to feel alive again. Okay. Yeah, I think it is. It's time to feel alive again. It's time to come out of hiding. It's time for you to, you know, come out of this period of stagnation that you've been in. That time of, of healing and introspection is over for you. I feel like we have a new, a new uh, relationship coming in for some of you. Um, a new partnership that's going to make you extremely happy. If you've been giving up hope, I'm here to tell you, don't don't give up hope it's coming <clears throat> at this time decide what you want what do you want do you want it or not because you're going to have to make that decision i feel like we we got somebody that has not had the courage to move forward but <clears throat> i think they're going to find that courage they are they're going to find that confidence and then, and then it's going to make you feel like Oh my God! Now I gotta, now I gotta choose. Now I gotta choose. I need to choose. Do I want this or not? Do I want to give up my independence? Do I want to <coughs> do this? Let's get some of these. So Taurus, be prepared for some sort of message, something that you may have been thinking was never going to come. Okay, you may have thought that this 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 love connection was never going to come. It's it's here. It's coming. If you have released. This is released. This has made the cut. You've started over and you've made the cut. If you have made the cut, you got a new beginning here. It's destiny. The wheel of fortune it's with the lovers it's destiny. This 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 change of course, whatever is happening is happening for a reason and it's bringing you a true soulmate whoever this soulmate is. You may not you may be afraid of it though. You may be afraid of it. You may be Afraid? <laughs> I know I just said that, but that's what it looks like to me. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Remember I said don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. I'm telling you what, it's coming. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And I have to show you what's on the bottom because, like I said, this person is not your usual type. They don't look like your usual type. They don't fit the physical description, okay? They don't fit your physical description that you, who you know, you know what I mean? What you thought you were going to get physically. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind, okay? Look beyond the surface, this is a partner that can make you very, 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 very happy. But there's been a delay because this person has been planning. This person has been fearful. But I think they're going to find the courage and the confidence to step forward with something in their hands or something, something. Oh, God, I just cut the deck. So I don't know. I don't know. So Taurus, I think that I think that's enough, don't you? Let's get one of these just for the heck of it. This is going to be a long one. Sorry. 
stay optimistic don't lose hope what you've been wishing for is coming just make sure you've set clear intentions and don't don't let yourself go downhill and overindulge because it's not here get all sad and poor poor pitiful me you know because it's not here yet no stay on plan okay stay on plan it's coming surrender I can release my need to control surrender let go and let God So that's what I got, Taurus. Good luck.